Hey guys, it's been a while since the last recording and it's been so long that Droop has actually updated its default theme um, but we'll still be able to make progress. Everything still remains the same, it's just the theme looks a bit different. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to go about adding um, some styling to make our movies directory look a bit better. So if we head over to PHP Storm, we are going to create a new file. So let's uh, minimize this and then open up again so we know which um, part of the directory we need to work in. We're going to work in the root part of our movie directory folder and we are going to create a new file and name it movies underscore directory dot libraries dot yaml and in this file we are going to reference our css file um, in order to do this you first create um i'm not sure what you call this honestly but i i would call it let's say a library package so we're going to create a library package within our libraries file and uh, let's name it movie directory styling um, and then we're going to tell it about our css file so css then within CSS, we call it theme. I must admit, I'm not sure why, but we do. So I'm just following the convention. And then this is where we then state um, where the file will live. So it's going to be in assets, CSS, movie, styles.css. Then you actually have to end it with a colon and um, open and close curly brackets. Why we do this, I'm not sure. Oh no, actually I do remember. And for example, if you have um, external libraries, you can then say um, something like external is true. Um, but for now, this is not external, this is internal. So we're gonna leave this empty for now. And as you rightly noted, we do not have these um, directories yet, nor do we have this file. So let's go ahead and create them. So again, um, within the movie directory, we're gonna create um, a new folder. I'm gonna name it assets. And if you're using PHP Storm, you can actually create a CSS folder as well, like this. And we are going to create this file here. Um, sometimes you think you'd be good at just writing it, but I'd like to copy and paste to ensure that I don't like run into errors. Um, and there we go, that's our file. And just to ensure that we're actually loading this file, I'm going to set a body background to something ridiculous like red. So background red save that um what we're now going to do next is head into our movie listing um, controller so if you remember we go to source then we go to controller and we have our movie listing and what we are going to do is add in um our library that we just created and so in order to do that we add it to our renderable array and um you type in hashtag um attached as we are attaching our library to this page and open um, array and then again we're now attaching a library so we're going to type library and again open brackets and oops sorry open array and then we're going to type in the the um how to access the library so it normally starts off with the name of our, of your custom module so in our case this would be movie underscore directory so within the quote movie underscore directory and then the second part is the package that we're looking for so in this case we need to find this so movie on directory styling so I'm going to copy and paste that and then um, paste that here and just to give a bit more understanding for this let's say we did have a bit of JavaScript we'd um, create a JavaScript entry so that would be JavaScript um, theme and then the path to the JavaScript file. But for now, we are not using JavaScript. So I'll get rid of all of that. Um, now that we have attached our library to this page, um, we are now going to clear our caches and refresh our page. So if you open up your terminal and then run drush CR, um, CR, as you know, stands for cache rebuild, that rebuild very quickly. And then we're gonna go back to our browser and I'm going to refresh this. And hopefully we get a red background. It will take a while to load, but I'm not gonna cut it. Okay, so um, 
we are not seeing a red background as we'd hope so let's try and debug what's going on here so we've cleared caches <clears throat> excuse me we've cleared caches we've told it about our new library um perhaps i spelled something wrong here ah here we go so it's actually movie underscore directory i've typed in movies so let's rename that um refactor there we go rename and we're going to remove the s from here and then let's clear our caches one more time again it's cleared very quickly and then let's come back to our page and hopefully we get the red background and we still do not so back to code so we have um, perhaps I spelled it wrong but I don't believe so movie underscore directory dot libraries um, we have assets which I believe we do CSS and movie styles um, everything looks pretty normal to me but let me um, stop the video here, debug and then get back to you guys. So it turns out um, everything was actually fine. If I inspect um, get up the developer console, you can actually see the background color red is actually coming through from our movie styles um, CSS. It's just been overwritten by something here in the base file. Um, so just to show you, I mean, I'm, it, this is not going to be a CSS class, but just to actually prove that this file is being called, um, I'm going to add the important and then refresh this page and we should see red appear. Um, I think on this side, if I remember, um, there we go. So I am actually going to copy and paste some CSS I did whilst trying to debug and show you what this page will eventually look like. So I'm going to open up PHP Storm. I'm going to get rid of this and then paste the new code. Go back to our browser, refresh, and we get something that's looking a bit more better. Um, I think I had a, a like a random gap somewhere here. So there's two things we could do. We can either make it display one more movie or we can ensure that we don't go above this. Um, but this isn't really an issue. In the next video, I'll probably show you how to um, add pagination so you can keep going through um, the list of movies coming from the database because there's tens and thousands of movies. It's not just the few that we see here. So I hope this video has been helpful in teaching how to add some styling to your custom code or your custom module.